surprise there. Surprise there. <laughs> Welcome to Tennis United. Bethany and I are following the lead of Stefano's Tsitsipas, and the guy loves his signs. If you haven't been following Stefano's, he's been posting with these signs the last couple of weeks, and honestly, the first couple were pretty unassuming. All right, so first one, standard stuff, new balls, please. And the second one, can we get a refund on 2020? I second this sign right here. But earlier this week, Stefanos posted a sign with a certain tennis player's phone number. That actually happened the way it seems like it did. Nick is not very happy about that. What's up, guys? Uh, I understand that it's my birthday today, 25, it's a big one. Um, but please, um, I understand that Titi Bass posted my, uh, my number on his Instagram. Please stop calling me. I can't even play music, I can't do anything. Please stop calling my cell phone. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's amazing, actually. I can't believe that he put his real number there. Vasek, I'm giving your phone number out next. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare that would be. Now everybody knows. You can get a hold of Nick Kyrgios officially. All right, guys, so we have another busy show. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, we're now joined by the tennis power couple, world number eight, Matteo Berrettini, and world number 56, Isla Tomljanovic. Guys, thanks for joining us. When and how did you guys start your relationship? Like, is there a story behind well, it? Like, you really well, so I was like, all right. <laughs> 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 that was so like, I, I gotta get in on this. No, I actually don't yeah. know. I mean, we just, we just started hanging out, and then, I mean, you know how relationships happen. We just liked each other, and then it went from there. But it wasn't easy at all, like. Isla played hard to get. It was I, easy for me. I mean, I just yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> outside of the court and in the court. I had just this. I'm telling me. I'm telling you just this. Tell me a little bit the pros and cons of dating another tennis player because I know there's both. The thing is, we don't have a lot of time to spend together. Uh, I mean, for this virus, unfortunately, unfortunately, we got we have time to to hang out a little bit more and I don't know, It's I think it's great. Uh, she doesn't like a lot to practice together. It's not that I don't like practicing together. I did in the beginning, but now when it's like more often, the thing is like he wants to get better too. And like my arm is hurting by like the 40th minute because his forehand is <laughs> massive. And at the same time, I feel like I suck. But then my dad's telling me like, no, 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 you're actually getting better. So like, it's really hard to process that it's actually good for me because I just feel like <laughs> your life. Uh, but other than that, I think, I mean, I think it's more positives than negatives yeah. dating someone that's also um, doing what you do because you understand. But at the same time, we actually don't talk about tennis a lot. So it's, it's really good for us. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to get to this. We have, we have a game to play with you guys. We're going to ask you a question and you're either going to say it's you or you're gonna to point to the other one and say it's them. I'm gonna start this off. Who has put the most time into their appearance during quarantine? You what? Into your appearance. Machis. What about Her. <laughs> Her. <laughs> It's easy. We had already two birthdays here in these days. And I was ready after 10 minutes and she, I don't know, no, she, but we, she took we, like... You guys asked like overall, not like one day. Overall, who has put the most effort into their appearance during quarantine? Like it takes a while. Okay, okay, I have to say yes, guys. <laughs> I have to say yes. Question number two. Uh, who is eating more junk food? Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, that was easy, that was easy. Who spends more time on social media? Mm. Come, come. Uh, okay. All the family is doing like... <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I, I, okay. I could tell she just didn't but want to admit like it. Like I could tell. Cool, like it's, it's close, I would say. Right? Doesn't count seven six okay. or six zero. It's the same. You lost. Right. <laughs> Who picks the Netflix shows? Me. Have you liked all her decisions? <laughs> Next <Okay>. question. <laughs> Who's the best supporter of the other one's matches? Okay, but that's kind of unfair. He has like a team of twenty people. So if I get in on that and I'm like telling him what to do, <laughs> no. But then I have my I dad. Do. That's like. Five and one, <laughs> and of course he's gonna like feel comfortable. You know, it's kind of a small team, so he'll be like, "Oh, these are my thoughts." So, I think we both win this one. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I, we'll call it a okay, tie. Okay, you you both win. All right, tell me this: 
Who has a longer pre-match and post-match routine? I think my pre-match is longer, his post-match is longer. Yeah, but you don't answer my message after three hours, so... Even even after she wins? Is it different? Yeah, 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 yeah. Does, doesn't matter, no, doesn't matter. You're doesn't matter. exaggerating. <laughs> Who is more competitive? Yeah, I'm, she's more sore loser. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm I cannot say I'm not competitive, but I, I handled the, the loss but better. But that's not the question. We're playing soccer tennis, okay? Yeah. If Love she's up 6-2, let's say up to 7. She's up 6-2, she's playing. If she's down 6-1, she's tanking. Who is the most competitive? It's not, that's, first of all, I never tank. Okay, but Mate uh, Mateo, if, I, if Isla's losing, if you're crushing Isla in soccer tennis, do you feel bad? No, he does not feel warm. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't feel bad and let her get back into the game a little bit, a couple points, make it close. You know what? <clears throat> At the beginning, I was feeling kind of, but then when she was winning, she was like, you know, I was rubbing it in. So then I was like, okay, <laughs> I have to be mean too. Guys, thanks again for joining us. Really appreciate it. And we'll uh, talk again soon. Thanks for joining, guys. Bye. Carolina, thanks for coming on the show. How are you? How is everything? I haven't seen you in a while. Excited to see my first tennis player if I don't count my <laughs> sister in a while. And of course, always uh, nice talking to you. So I'm happy that I can uh, talk to somebody finally different than my husband and my family. <laughs> but uh, I've been doing well. Actually, they opened the tennis courts here in Czech Republic. So I'm able to hit here and there. Um, the motivation is not quite high, but uh, yeah, but I'm still trying to stay in shape and do things which I can do and then, you know, I think as everything is doing right now the same, so we stay at home, if we can hit, we hit and then, you know, that's the situation yeah. I think. So tell me, what else have you been doing to stay busy? I know I've, I've followed you on Instagram and I see a couple of these challenges. I saw the dance challenge. Tell me, tell me a little bit about this. It kind of took us a while till we somehow managed, and especially Michael, my husband, he's not really like, you know, the moves are not <laughs> so like good and so smooth. But <laughs> so, and then together, of course, we needed a little bit more time, but it was fine. I think that's enough for like now one month of dancing is enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, after that, we're, we're good. I, honestly, we're all gonna come out of this really good dancers, I think. Yes, <laughs> but there is so many challenges going on, like on Instagram and everywhere, because I think people are bored, so they come up with some new things. I have to mention one other challenge, I don't know, did you see the challenge with the seven-year-old Ethan hitting the can off the top of his mom's head? Did you see that one? I saw that, and I saw a couple things like this. And I was thinking to try today, but as I said today, I didn't feel like it's the day to make it. <laughs> so I think tomorrow there's gonna be a time for, uh, actually we go hit at 11, so there's gonna be time after, so I will be pretty warm and I hope to hit it, but I think it's super heavy. I don't know, have you tried it or no? No, honestly, I have not tried it. I mean, just being that I've been with Justin for six weeks now, I wouldn't mind trying it on him. I will, uh, go, I I will go like full power after. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I was like really close. Thanks for talking and let's do it again. If you if you get bored, we, we well, can always do this again. Once a week, I need to talk to somebody. I, <laughs> okay, done. Like, let's make it now. I'm happy to do it. Okay. You know me, I'll, t I'll talk a lot, so. Oh. Yes, I know. <laughs> but thanks again, and uh, we'll definitely do it again, for okay. sure. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Stay All safe. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>so this week we did have a little tennis competition the mutual madrid open took the form of virtual tennis and all the top players were really into this we saw some really really good content actually on instagram we had a couple live instagram videos it was fun to see some of the players trade their rackets for remote controllers honestly i don't think any of their competitive fire went down any notches it's just interesting to see something uh, that maybe players aren't as comfortable or good at but you, you still still see them wanting to win. Like you see that look in their eye, uh, even though they're sucking. <laughs> Everyone seemed to be very fired up and honestly, I could relate. Like I was trying, I was thinking like, I don't, I'm not really a gamer, so I don't play games. But I was like, if I had an in invite to this tournament, I would have had some butterflies. Cause it's like, you're still going into competition. People are watching you, you want to win. Ah, uh, get there!
those, those like pre-mass nerves were probably there a little bit, I think. A hundred percent. They're they're all the players are dressed up in their mad kits, like you can hear them, you're watching them play. I mean I would be nervous too. How many players do you think legit practice in the lead up to this competition? I would say almost everybody. I feel like most of them. Did. I would say almost everybody. I think they were all trying to be casual, like, eh, I'm not a gamer. Me yeah, yeah. They're, well, they're just trying to lower days. the pressure. I'm like, yeah, for sure. I haven't, I haven't, I never, I haven't even played my first time playing, and they're like training for hours, for sure. That's what I would do. Rafa, he was saying that I've been practicing so much, and <laughs> today the controller was wrong with Zverev. It's like, you know, everyone's got their kind of their excuses, but uh, <laughs> the, the reason is just I'm just better than them unfortunately. And the Mutual Madrid Open's defending champion, Kiki Burtons, has won it another year in a row, this time virtually. Let's go check in with Kiki. I, re I really enjoyed my time with the other players as well. So uh, thanks also to all the players and uh, also to my internet connection, of course. I think it was working well. So, uh, but I think it was just a fun week to interact uh, also in a different way happen. with the fans and uh, yeah, I had fun, so uh, I think that was the most important thing. So let's hear from the champion from the ATP side and professional trash talker, Andy Murray. Eh, no! And there it is. Heartbreak no. for David Goffman. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was, um, it was good fun. Um, I don't know if I'm defending my title next year. Um, I don't know how that works, if this goes down officially as being the, the winner of the event. But yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll be back to, to play again next year. Hold up. All right, guys, so this week was Andre Agassi's 50th birthday. And joining us to talk about this tennis legend are Sam Query and Steve Johnson. So we've actually prepared a little quiz for you guys. Uh, some of the answers will be multiple choice and some of them won't. So it will be a little bit of a variety and we're gonna go straight into it. Where was Andre Agassi born? Las Vegas. Okay. I'm gonna go with Las Vegas as well. Correct. Good right. tactic, Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Wimbledon, 1992. Who did Andre beat to win that event? A, Goran Ivanisevic, B, Michael Chang, C, Pete Sampras, and D, Boris Becker. I'll take uh, Ivanisevic. I'll take uh, Becker. I feel like I'm wrong. I, uh, I feel like you might be wrong. The answer is Goran Ivanisevic. Oh man, I'm on fire. You're on ah. fire. Okay guys, next question is, how many titles did Andre win during the course of his career? Is it 40, 50, 60, or 70? I'm gonna say 50, because he's turning 50, and that just wow. seems to sync right <laughs> with each other. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool, actually. That'd be pretty cool. That was so fun. Stevie, what do you got? I'm gonna go with 60. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. You got it. 60. Late surge from Stevie. Wow, we're we're at a tie right now. What did Andre's ranking memorably drop to in November 1997? 141, 210, 101, 74. I'm gonna go with 210. I was living in Vegas at the time. I saw Andre play a challenger at this time <laughs> okay. and use some not so kind words to a chair umpire as he took a loss. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say 141. Good one. 141 is the correct answer. Little nine-year-old Sam didn't know some of the words Andre was using. <laughs> <laughs> How many weeks did Andre spend at number one? Is it A, 89, B, 101, C, 67, or D, 121? I'll go with the 121. Man, I was gonna go with that too, because I can't remember the other three numbers. So I'll just go with B. That's the one. You, you know your stuff. Wow. You got it. I think well, we're at a tie. Then. We're at a deadlock. Complete guess. We are at a deadlock. And the last question um, is, and I will have Stevie start this off. How many Aussie Opens did Andre win in his career? The answer is four. That was pretty confident. And it was almost too confident because now Sam might just say four even if he doesn't know. I'm gonna say three because I don't want to end in a tie. 
I oh. want to have a clear winner here. <laughs> Correct answer is four. Stevie, you took the win, came from behind. Congrats. Oof. Legendary stuff. All right, gang, time to get social. So I think this is Novak getting ready to get a haircut from Yelena, his wife. Listen, everyone I, is stressing out about yeah, this day. Yeah, this would terrify me. You can see by Novak's pre-cut, he has literally waited as long as possible for this moment. Yelena yeah. coming through with the fade, the buzz fade on Novak. It looks really good. Not, not, too, not bad. too bad. I love this. <laughs> Kasakina is on fire with this her is videos so right good. now. Which Dasha character would you choose? Honestly, right now? the one with this one right there. The one with the passport and the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the weapons of choice, the passport, uh, isn't doing much for us right now. I would go with the, the frying pan and the toilet paper. This is pretty. This was pretty hilarious. Got to give her a lot of props for her creativity. <laughs> we have Joe Tsonga practicing his overhead. Tsonga is definitely leaving the footwork drills till a little bit later in this off season. <laughs> <laughs> Done. And then right, right here, I've never seen anybody more pleased with themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Have. Here oh, we go with some trick shots. Nice. Done. We've been seeing a Done. lot of these trick shots. She made that look easy. My favorite trick shot, if you want to call it that, is definitely Sasha Alex Zverev right here. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Did he ever make it out of the lake? Like, is he still there? I don't know. I just, I'm just surprised he didn't see this coming. I actually think he closed his eyes before he hit it. Yeah, maybe he accepted it and was like so competitive. He's like, okay, this is going to go all over my shirt. I appreciate the bloopers just as much as the trick shots. Like, I have to be honest. So I think Nick is feeling some pressure from the other players posting their workout vids. So he's walking us through his quarantine fitness program right now. You want to um, come to this year and um, you just want to make sure that you are then <laughs> completely 90 degrees make sure your legs are doing absolutely nothing and you're just sitting back in the chair and so you really feel the burn i'm really admiring degrees. the dedication to the technique remember say. kids that 90 um, degree leg yeah. position 90 <laughs> degrees Vasek. 90 degrees are you at 90 i'm gonna degrees keep right that now? in mind i'm i'm not oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i mean this looks like a santa assembly line <laughs> the the best part about this is that it actually is not a bad like training routine. Jumping over some obstacles, little footwork. Yeah, drills. you hit the ball. Uh, but can someone get the woman in the umpire chair some water? Like I feel like she's been sitting there for a while watching watching this assembly line. Yeah, no line. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this video. This is nuts. Come on now. Unreal. Uh, I mean, if this took less than a hundred tries, I am on the floor impressed. This is pretty cool. Pretty impressive. All right, we're throwing it to Backyard Wimbledon for Love this it. next clip. Look at this professional court right here. Okay, some tween some tweener action. I'm appreciating this. A couple tweeners in this rally, actually. I'm I'm jealous. I'm I'm just jealous of their court. I wish I had this in my backyard. And we actually have Jill with us. Uh, tell me about the setup behind building the, the, the Wimbledon grass court. I think it, it took one afternoon because we uh, we needed to get stuff, of course. So it were, it's made of old curtains, the, the net. We discovered a, 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 the bigger red ball and that it bounces on grass. So uh, we tried it on grass and we thought, oh, nice. Then we can build a, build a tennis court. I'm super impressed with the tweener. Is that something you practice or did you just pull it out for this video? This was actually my first tweener ever. First tweener? Damn, I'm impressed. So not really surprised, but I hear you're enjoying some newfound fame uh, with the court there. Yes, it's unbelievable. It's been on uh, national television. Uh, Wimbledon posted it, you guys posted it, and uh, that's... That's bizarre. We we see people uh, because we live at a, we live near a lake, so people are uh, are sailing by and they say, "Oh, that's the tennis court we saw on uh, on the, on Instagram," and uh, that's really uh, really crazy. All right, well, uh, Jill, thanks for joining us. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Okay, thank you guys. Bye bye. Vasek, we got to pick a favorite now. My favorite is uh, the one by Kasatkina. I just think. Uh, I got to give her credit for, for imagination and also just execution. It was funny. It was the funniest one. So she, she's got to, she's got to win this one in my opinion. She's on a roll choosing your, your character. I love it. I'm going to have to go with this week's fan post, the wall trick shot. I mean, come on now. I, I just got to know how many times it took him 
to perfect this. I mean, that was, I thought that was insane, so. So with me today, I have Diana Yastremska. I just watched your uh, animated COVID awareness video. Tell me a little bit more about that. I thought that this cartoon will be a pretty good idea. It's very understandable for uh, for the children and for the adults. I think there you can really show some important things. I started to work with my foundation. We are helping people who doesn't have really opportunity and need this help. We gave them big uh, bags with the food, with everything that is really necessary for some starting period. As long as I have the opportunity, uh, it's nice to help. How has the response been? What have been people been writing you or telling you uh, after seeing this video? So a lot of people texted me and uh, everything was very positive. They didn't expect that I'm gonna do that. And uh, they kind of been pretty, a little bit shocked. And everyone, uh, everyone said it's really nice idea. And especially for the young children, it's very helpful, I think. Please keep doing the videos. It was the, the first one that you came up with was awesome. I think it's a really powerful message. So I'll, I'll be looking for more from you, but, but keep all the good things going. And thanks for talking with me for a few minutes. Thank you. It, I'm, to be honest, I miss playing against you. <laughs> How good was that Beijing final? Like it came down to one or two points in the tiebreaker though. That was so fun. <laughs> that was so fun. Yeah. I remember that match, it's crazy. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it was a well-fought match and hopefully, maybe one time we'll play on the same side, but hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be playing more matches in the future. Thank you. All right, guys. Unfortunately, that's all we got for today's show. It's that time to say goodbye. Uh, make sure to tag the ATP and WT on any videos that you might post and also hashtag tennis at home. Make sure you use hashtag home court and we'll be looking out for all your videos you're posting. Until next week, Vasek and I... We'll see you later. Bye, guys. See you next week.